If your Wi-Fi is grayed out, here are a couple of things you can try. But please note, whenever Wi-Fi is grayed out, there is a chance that you're actually dealing with a hardware problem that cannot be solved that easily. And if it indeed turns out that you have a hardware problem, you will need to get your iPhone serviced. But before you do that, please make sure to try all the fixes as shown in this video. Let's dive right into it. First of all, before you try anything else, make sure to restart your iPhone. You can do that by swiping down with one finger from the middle of the screen, and then simply type shut down. Then on top, tap on shutdown. And at the very bottom, you will then find the shutdown option. Tap on it to shut down your iPhone for good. And use the slider on top to power off your iPhone and then restart it again. To restart your iPhone, tap and hold the side button. Now check again if Wi-Fi is still grayed out. You can check the Wi-Fi button by swiping up from the upper right corner of the screen. You will then get to the control center and here you have the Wi-Fi button. Have a look if it is still grayed out or not. In my case here it's not grayed out, it's simply inactive but when I tap on it, it turns blue and Wi-Fi is now active. Alternatively, you can also always go into the settings here, then scroll down, tap on Wi-Fi and then check here if you can toggle on Wi-Fi or not. If this didn't help and Wi-Fi is still grayed out, the next thing you should try is to perform a hard reset. Here's how you do it. First of all, you tap on volume up, then you tap on volume down, and then you press and hold the side button. You will need to press and hold the side button for quite a long time. Let me demonstrate. Volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, and holding, and holding, and holding, and holding until you see the black screen and then you will see the Apple logo and only here you can release the finger. This will perform a hard reset and oftentimes this helps to solve the Wi-Fi grayed out issue. Once again you will go to the control center here and have a look if you can activate the Wi-Fi now or not. Or as I explained earlier, tap on settings here and then see if you can now turn on Wi-Fi from here or not. If this didn't help either, the next thing you want to do is reset all settings. This is not going to delete any data on your phone. This is simply resetting all settings like network settings. To do that with one finger from the middle of the screen swipe down and then type reset all settings. Then on top tap on reset all settings. At the bottom now tap on reset and then tap on reset all settings and then enter your passcode to confirm you might need to enter your screen time passcode as well and after that at the bottom tap on reset all settings for some reason you might need to confirm this twice so again I will tap here on reset all settings this will restart your iPhone. So please be patient. If your Wi-Fi is still grayed out, there are a couple of other things you want to double check. First of all, with one finger from the upper right corner of the screen, swipe down, and then make sure that airplane mode here is not activated. If it is indeed activated, you will see it here in orange. You don't want that, so make sure to tap on it again so that it is not activated. Another thing that can cause the Wi-Fi to be grayed out is actually a VPN. If so if you have a VPN active, you should make sure to temporarily deactivate it to see if this causes your Wi-Fi to be grayed out. So how do you know that a VPN is active? Well, you can actually see that here. If a VPN is active, it should say VPN here. If you do see that, you will need to make sure to find the VPN app and deactivate the VPN connection. So as you can see, we really have a VPN active here. So what I would do is I would return to the home screen and then I would open up my VPN application. In my case here, my VPN is called ExpressVPN and the app is located right here. So I simply tap on it and then I tap here on the power off button to deactivate it. Depending on your VPN application, to turn on or turn off the VPN 
would probably work a little bit differently, because after all, every VPN app looks a little bit different. So please make sure to find your VPN app and then try to turn it off. After doing that, go back to the control center and then there, make sure it doesn't say VPN anymore. A lot of these VPN applications actually automatically turn on whenever you restart your iPhone. And this could be a reason why you were not aware of the fact that you were actually running a VPN. If this still doesn't help, you can also try to delete the VPN application altogether. Because there is a chance if you don't delete it, that there are still some conflicting settings saved on your iPhone that come from your VPN app. So delete the VPN application for good and see if that solves the problem. Now another thing that you want to make sure is that you don't have screen time restrictions in place. To access screen time, with one finger from the middle of the screen swipe down, then type screen time. Now on top, tap on screen time. Then scroll down and go to content and privacy restrictions. Now here make sure that content and privacy restrictions are turned off. If this is turned on, there is a chance that this could be responsible for your Wi-Fi being grayed out. Now there are two more things that I would like you to try. First of all, I would like you to make sure that low power mode is turned off. To do so, with one finger swipe down from the middle of the screen and type low power mode. Then on top you will see the low power mode option and you can actually toggle it off right from there if it is actually toggled on. In my case it's toggled off so I don't need to do anything. And last but not least, after all these possible fixes you always want to go into the control center and then try to turn on Wi-Fi from here or as mentioned before go into the settings then go to Wi-Fi from here and see if you can toggle it on from here now. Now, last but not least, if you're still dealing with this problem, I would like you to make sure that you're using the latest iOS software. To do that once again, swipe down with one finger from the middle of the screen and type update. Then on top, tap on software update. If there is a software update for you, you should see it here. So in my case here, I'm actually not using the latest OS software and I could update it by tapping here on update now. From time to time you should go here and always make sure that you're using the latest version. And whenever you see a new version popping up right here, you should tap on update now to update to the latest iOS version. This could also help to solve the grayed out Wi-Fi issue. And that's about it. If you're still dealing with this annoying issue after performing all of these possible fixes, then you should take your iPhone and bring it into service. Because in this case you're likely dealing with a hardware problem that we cannot fix by ourselves. Apple professionals will be able to run diagnostics on your iPhone and they will be able to tell you if you're dealing with a hardware issue or not. And if you are, they will be able to repair it. And that's it guys. This is how you deal with the grayed out Wi-Fi issue on the iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more iPhone tutorials.